Hey everyone, welcome to Never Metal. Out on the range on this, this is just a totally, totally nice day. You couldn't ask for no better. And what are we up to today? Well today I pulled out some wicked 9mm to do a little testing on. I think y'all will like this. This is some Federal 147 grain jacketed hollow point. Yeah, this stuff is no joke when it comes to 9mm. Uh, pretty hot round. It should expand pretty well, at least I think it would. And we're going to be using, of course, a Remington RP9. My favorite 9mm range gun. Hey, it hasn't failed me yet. Hard to beat. And what are we shooting? Well, we're going to go out there to the spool and set these up. I have three of these Ajax with bleach. They are stronger than dirt because it says so and that's registered so it's got to be true. But what we're going to do is see how many of these go through but we're going to shoot them long ways. Because I think like this, I think it'll go through all three of them. But I think long ways we have a better chance of catching the bullet uh, if I can shoot straight. That's the trick. But uh, yeah, we'll get them set up out there and make this shot. I think it'll be quite interesting. I'm really hoping that we catch this bullet. I'd like to see if it expands in that Ajax, which I think it will, and how much penetration that we do get on it. If y'all would like to, throw down in the comments what you think, and uh, it'll be very interesting to read before and after the shots. Well, let me go out here and get this all set up, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we've got a good alignment on them. I put them uh, six by six chunks up there, hopefully to hold them straight, and hopefully I can get a good shot. Now what I've done, I went ahead and loaded up two of these, because I wanted y'all to see how awesome this round is. You see that purple can sitting right there on that metal post? Yep, it's one of them bathroom cleaners. They blow up really well, so this will give us a general idea how well this round's going to do, and these things are just fun to shoot. That one tried to come back at me. Yeah, she foamed up pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and do our Ajax shot. I got it locked open, ready to rock and roll. All right, I'm going to get fairly close to this. <coughs> Excuse me. Try my best to get a good, straight shot of it. So here we go. I don't know if I got a bad shot. It looks straight to me. Or well, if the bullet went there and curved. Let's run up there and check her out. All right, let's run up here and see what we think happened. Get y'all where you can see here. All right. Well, you see the bullet was a little little bit high there. Oh man. He came out the top. Well, that right there is a big bummer. Let's, uh, as they say, when the big guys shoot, take two. We'll put this one on the end. I don't know if that bullet made it out of that or what it did. I'm assuming it went to the top. We'll just get right up here point blank to this bad boy. Right. I mean, such a small target, it's hard to get really straight on it. I right, went ahead and grabbed another one. So I'll get right up on that thing. That seems to be pretty straight. And hopefully, we can get it with this right here. 
we'll get Ajax all over me. But it's worth it to get the shot, right? I know that I was straight on that. If that bullet came out, it's because it's hitting that Ajax and it's curving inside of it. Let's go check it. All right, walking up on it. I mean, yeah, we got a really good straight shot, but you see it just blew it out. Guys, I just don't think that Ajax is a good thing to shoot. I don't see that bullet in there, and I think it just ripped right out the side. What's happening is it's going in, and it's just curving. I thought I'd seen a bullet fragment. Just curving when it goes in. That Ajax just really throws that bullet one way or the other. Sort of like shooting water jugs sometimes. You know you got a straight shot, but it just doesn't work out. The bullet curves. Well. The Ajax thing just didn't work out, did it? But don't worry, we're going to catch this bullet. I don't give up. Really want to catch one of these. So, let's run back out there. I got something else set up. I got another of the 147 grain loaded up in there, ready to rock and roll. So let's make this shot and catch this bullet. Alright, as you can see, we have the one Ajax. That's what we're going to shoot through. But I've got... I don't know how many is this? A bunch of them. Black plastic sheets. Now, this will catch it. Looks like 147 grain, hollow point. Want to see how this thing expands out. This will be cool. We we'll want to see if it'll pull a lot of that Ajax through that plastic. Alright, fire in the hole. Is there a red wasp up there? He better move. He ain't going to like this. Oh yeah, good shot. Let's go up there and see if we caught that bullet. Well, hopefully we scared that red wasp away at least. All right, well here's our Ajax. Got a good center shot. Good exit on that thing. Cool. And here's that plastic I was telling you all about. I've got this in a previous video. You gotta go through and check it out. It was cool. But anyway, oh yeah, it pulled it right through there. Oh man, I just noticed this before I went to move the plastic. Y'all see what I see? There's a 9mm, and that thing is a little warm. All mashed up right there. Did not even make it through that plastic. Just put a dent in it. It really expanded well on that Ajax. Let's go clean this up and take a closer look at it. Oh yeah, once I get all that Ajax cleaned off of there, you see pieces of cardboard in there too. You're talking about expanding. It got all sideways in there when it hit too. So say, these were really curving when they hit that Ajax. I knew they were. This right here shows it. But as far as expansion, yeah, that thing's cool. Well now, what do you think about that? Oh, I found it determined I was going to catch one of these. You want to have to shoot up the whole box, but hey, it is what it is. But like I say, we did catch one. We got to see it expand very well for a heavy 9mm. That is quite impressive, and I'm glad that I went that extra mile to set something else up in order to do it. That was cool. Well, y'all, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Uh, it was pretty neat, in my opinion, and a fun one to do. If you would, Throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, go visit us on Patreon. A little bit goes a long way over there, and it's very much appreciated. Uh, and please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it very much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.